Good morning and welcome to the West Saco ISD Aquatic Center. This morning, the Aquatic Center is hosting the annual City of Westaco Duo Meet. During this competition, we would like to take some time to recognize the senior year swimmers of Westaco High School and Westaco East High School. From Westaco High School, Brock Bloomquist, accompanied by his parents, Kevin Bloomquist and Mari Bloomquist. Brock is a four-year varsity swimmer. His accomplishments have been district champion his freshman year and sophomore year in the 200 IM, third place in regionals his junior year in the 200 IM, and he was a member of the 2016 district championship team. Brock is currently the record holder for the 200 IM, the 500 freestyle, the 100 breaststroke, and he is a member of the record-holding relay teams in the 200 medley relay, the 200 freestyle relay, and the 400 freestyle relay. Brock is also a member of the Wessico High School National Honor Society. His future plans are to study computer science and engineering in his secondary education. <laughs> Daryl Layton Lewis accompanied by his mom, Cindy Wells, and his grandparents, Nora and Jesus Galvan. Daryl is a four-year varsity swimmer. His accomplishments have been uh, being a Tisca Championship qualifier and finalist. He is a super sectional championships qualifier. He is a district championship champion for three years in the 100-yard butterfly. He received Rio Grande Valley honorable mention in the 100-yard backstroke, a first-team all-region in the 100-yard butterfly. He is a district athlete. He has been the district athlete of the meet for three years. He is a regional qualifier and finalist for three years. He has been a two-time state qualifier, a three-time team MVP, and he has a, and a, a member of the 2016 district championship team. Daryl is currently the record holder in the 100-yard butterfly, the 200-yard freestyle, and the 100-yard backstroke. He is also a member of the record-holding relay teams in the 200-yard medley relay, the 200-yard freestyle relay, and the 400-yard freestyle relay. Daryl's future plans are to study exercise science and kinesiology in his secondary education. Oh. Well, I apologize. Um, from Westaco East High School, Jose Alex Ochoa, accompanied by his mother, Mabel Pineda, and his sister, Jasmine Pineda. Alex Ochoa is a four-year varsity swimmer. His accomplishments are, he is the current individual medley record holder for Westaco East High School. He is a two-year MVP. He is a three-year regional qualifier, a three-year varsity team captain, and he is a four-year letterman. Alex Ochoa is also a member of the Wildcat Regiment and is a member of the St. Pius Catholic Church. His future plans include to attend UTRGV and study marine biology and minor in kinesiology and continue to work as a lifeguard for the Westlaco Aquatic Center. From Westaco High School, Jesus Pedraza, accompanied by his mom, Rocio Frias, and his father, Arturo Rocha. Jesus has been a member of the varsity swim team for three and a half years. During his years in varsity swimming, Jesus has focused on swimming backstroke as a specialty event and participated in various relay events throughout the co competition season. Jesus is an active member of the art club, he is currently the secretary of his club. He has been a two-year member of the Cyber Patriots Club. 
He was a member of the varsity tennis team his freshman year, and he is a three-year member of the West Soco ISD Culinary Arts Program, where he competes in baking events. Jesus's future plans include to attend uh, the Culinary Institute at STC and hopes to be a pa pastry chef. From Westaco High School, Charlie Ann Cruz, accompanied by her mother, Sally Garcia, and her father, Robert Cruz. Charlie is a four-year varsity swimmer. She is a member of the current record-holding 400 freestyle relay team. Charlie is an active member of the Anime Club, and she is the senior year secretary of the Kate Early College High School. Charlie's future plans include to study diesel technology in her secondary education. And from Westaco East High School, Alexandria Dominguez. Alexandria is accompanied by her parents, Rolando and Carmen Dominguez. She is a four-year member of the varsity swim team. She is the Westaco East swim team captain, and she has also been a varsity swimming regional qualifier. Alexandria is an active member of the Westaco East High School base UIL, and also an active member of the Westaco East High School National Honor Society. Alexandria has also dedicated uh, 12 years in being a participant of Rita's Dance Studio and is a current Red Cross certified lifeguard. Her future plans include to study environmental science at STC or UTSA. We want to thank all the parents and community members and relatives that are here to support both of these teams and we wish both teams the best of luck today. Today at the West Laco ISD Aquatic Center, you will see some of the top swimmers in 32 6A. They will be competing in the relays and they will also be comp competing in some of the individuals here at the dual meet, West Laco East versus West Laco High. Hello everybody, Carlos Robledo along with Mike Gonzalez and we are here at the WISD Aquatic Center where Mike, it should be a good one here as we have some of the top swimmers or the top swimmers that will be competing from West Laco East and West Laco High. Absolutely, Carlos. Uh, we're talking about athletes that have put in long hours, uh, months of work here. Mm -hmm. uh, they've had meets uh, since the fall season and they're preparing for district next week and so this is just a dual meet between two schools that have uh, that are very proud, that put in a lot of work and the coaches are expect a lot of great things from them. Yeah, one of those to look out for here uh, this morning will be Daryl Wells, a two-time qualifier. Uh, he's a senior this year trying to go back to state for the third time. Absolutely, Carlos. Since his sophomore year, has been going to state. Uh, he's also in club swimming, year-round swimmer, a great athlete, great student, um, is in a 100 butterflies mm -hmm. where he went. He qualified a few years ago and also the uh, so the backstroke, he qualified for state, and so, I mean, he's just here. He wants to do well, and he's looking forward to the competition. The relay teams for uh, West Local High School this year, two of the relay teams, and I know Daryl Wells is, is on those uh, teams, whilst will be battling for a district championship, which will be taking place next week. Absolutely, and we're talking about a relay team. Uh, they're also going for a school record here. They've been trying to vie for it uh, all season long, and I uh, think they want to get it today. They hope to get it. Uh, but it's a great relay team that they have. And um, again, this is just a warm up for, for the team and uh, they hope to have great things. On the east side, uh, Ochoa, Jose Ochoa, a four year letterman. He'll be one of those to look out for, a very talented swimmer for the Wildcats. He's the three time MVP for the squad. And uh, yeah, he's the captain of the team and their regional I mean, excuse me, their relay team qualified for regional last year. And so they're carrying that momentum into this year. And so look for them in this meet. All right. Also, John Miller uh, from West Laco East, also a regional qualifier from a year ago. Getting ready to get started with everybody. Tell me a little bit more about John Miller as we uh, get ready for our first uh, competition. Well, yeah, Carlos, he's part of the relay team, as mentioned. And uh, 
go through my notes here real quick. But uh, he's a junior. Uh, he's the second best swimmer in the team. Uh, again, he qualified for regionals last year. Uh, he look for him in the 100 freestyle. And look for him in the 50 meter freestyle too. All right, we'll have boys and girls action here today. So stand by as we bring you the live coverage right here on K West. So here we are, and uh, the first competition that will be taking place here today will be the girls 200-yard medley relay. And uh, there will be three teams that will be competing for this competition. And uh, we're going to have three teams. We'll have two, I believe, from West Loco East and one from West Loco High School here. So a good opportunity to take a look. The different strokes, Mike. And, uh, you know, it's a 200-yard medley, so they'll be going back and forth because this is a 25 yard swimming pool so it's going to be uh, quite a, uh, a a swim here for them we saw them warming up earlier right they were right. warmed up for about 25 minutes and it looked like that was a workout but uh these swimmers are greatly conditioned and uh, so it should be a good meet yeah you and i were joking about it well they're warming up like for people like us <laughs> doing that kind of work i will call it a day but for these swimmers i mean this is just a warm-up and uh, this is the actual race uh, and uh, they're in shape they're in terrific shape and uh, they put in a lot of work a lot of hours are involved in this and now it's competition time so let's take a look in uh, the different lanes we got the, in lane three we will have teresa velez from west lacuis uh, Isabel Ochoa, Bianca Valdez, and Samantha Alanis. That'll be uh, one of the teams from West Loco East. That will be uh, part of the relay team. Then from West Loco High School, you'll have Emily Cortez, Kiana Reyes, Charlie Cruz, Yasmin Cardenas. And then the other West Loco East team will be Alexander Dominguez, Brianna Villarreal, Julia Najera, and Beatriz Zambrano. And they are now in the pool. So we're getting ready to get started. And the way this uh, medley works, we'll start off first with the backstroke, and that's what you're seeing right here. So we'll have the team from West Laco will be in lane four, and lane five, team from West Laco East, and in lane three from West Laco East. It looks like West Laco is out with the early lead in the backstroke. Backstroke competition for Westlaco, and that is Emily Cortez. About a half a length behind her, lane five, Alexandra Dominguez. Emily's only a sophomore. Keep an eye on her on the 100 backstroke and uh, either the 50 or 100 freestyle later in the competition. Next is the breaststroke. And this is Kiana Reyes. And Kiana Carlos uh, is a member of the Dreamettes squad. Okay, this is actually Charlie. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, reading the notes here wrong. Charlie Cruz here. Kiana will be next. But Charlie Cruz right here with the breaststroke. And it'll be Kiana will be with the butterfly. But not doing too bad right there for West Loco East. About a half a length behind West Loco High. And that is Julia Nareja. So coming up next for West Loco East will be uh, Brianna Villarreal. She'll have to catch up, but... This is a pretty close race. And now the butterfly with Kiana. One of the top athletes, one of the top swimmers for the girls. And she is actually giving West Laco a little bit of a bigger lead. Now a full length ahead of West Laco East, Brianna Villarreal. And she's extending that lead, Mike. Yeah, she's extending the lead. It looks like about 25 yards there. And it looks like we're going to go into the, the last one. The freestyle is freestyle. up next. And this will be Yasmin Cardenas, Cardenas trying to wrap up a victory here for the Lady Panthers. And, and it looks like she's extending the lead a little bit there. But East is uh, hanging tough. Yasmin Cardenas wrapping it up here for the Lady Panthers. The first event here at the WIC Invitational. And with a time here of 224.41, 
And they'll pick up a first place finish here. Just a warm up for Mike. And they're second place here for the uh, West Liverpool East team. With a time of 2.32.21. And then the other West Liverpool East relay team trying to finish up here. And it's all about finishing strong, Carlos. I mean, regardless of where they finish, it's all about maybe trying to beat their personal best time, carry that momentum into next week's district. And there we go. Competition is over for the 200 medley relay. And the relay B team for West Lacoise finishes in three minutes, 1.56 seconds. So congratulations goes out to the team from West Local High School, Lady Panthers team of Emily Cortez, Charlie Cruz, Kiana Reyes, and Yasmin Cardenas. Up next, we will have the 200-yard medley relay team, the boys, and they got a pretty good team, does West Local High School, because they'll be competing for a district championship. They've done very, very well already uh, in the non-district season. They have. I mean, they've had about, what, seven or eight meets uh, in the fall, and I think last week they had one in McAllen. And, uh, yeah, according to Coach uh, Alexandria Trevino, uh, this relay team is a very dangerous, uh, a lot of great swimmers. Yeah, you got Nathan Parker on the team. You got Daryl Wells, um, Brock Blumquist, and Noah Valadez all competing. For West Laco East, you got, you're going to have two teams for West Laco East. Derek Cantu, um, that's actually Westlaco. Westlaco will have two teams, and Westlaco East will have two teams. But the top two teams for Westlaco and Westlaco High will be Nathan Parker, who will be starting it off first with a backstroke. And then for uh, Westlaco East in lane six, you will have uh, Jeffrey Casares, Steven Ortega, Angel Arzola, Ivan Rodriguez. And then in lane five, you will have Joshua Blas, Jose Ochoa, Robert Liao, and John Miller. That's that top team there for West Laco East. In lane three, you have Derek Cantu, Henry Sander, Ryan Perez, and Diego Guerra in lane three. Right now with the lead is lane four. That was Nathan Parker. Now this is Brock Bloomquist, who is swimming in the breaststroke for West Laco High with a comfortable lead. Barack Bloomquist uh, is a young man that almost made it to state last year. We know the story about Daryl Wells, but Brock Bloomquist uh, has also worked very hard uh, for these last couple of years. He's also in club swimming and is hungry and eager to get to that state competition level. Here's the regional qualifier, the state qualifier, two-time state qualifier. And Daryl Wells with the butterfly here in lane number four. With the lead. And now Noah Valadez with a freestyle. And Noah's a up and coming young man, only a junior, I believe. He's basically going to be given the torch once uh, Brock and Daryl graduate. And uh, he's going to be among the top swimmers for, for Westville High. This is a team that has already broken the record as well, the Westville High School record. And they keep good track of their records here. And there it is a victory, a first place finish for the West Laco High team in the 200-yard medley of Parker, Bluequist, Wells, and Valadez. Finishing up here for second place from West Laco East will be Blas, Ochoa, Leal, and Miller. And Miller, the junior, finishes up the race here for West Laco East. West Laco High School's team also finishes in lane three. Cantu, Sander, Perez, and Guerra. And finishing up in lane six, Jeffrey Casares, Ortega, Arasola, and that's Ivan Rodriguez with the finish there. So in lane four, your winner with the time of, what is it, 2.04.71, the West Laco Panthers relay team, 200-yard medley. Not bad. And the records, you know, we do have the school records. They keep track of them. They do an awesome job. And this team of Parker, Bloomquist, Wells, and Valadez, they broke that record this year, Mike. They did. And, uh, and again, you know, you, you break a record, it feels great, and then you just try to enhance that to another level, and you hope to have a, a better time moving forward. I mean, it's all, that's what it's all about, basically, is trying to improve and get better and better. And, I mean, the great thing, Carlos, is that, man, they have the talent. 
yep. they're so athletic. And uh, I, I mentioned a few seconds earlier about Noah. He's actually a sophomore. I, I say he was a junior. He's actually a sophomore. And so you're going to have, um, once Brock and Daryl move on and graduate, you're going to have two more years with uh, Noah and, and the rest of the some talented young swimmers that they have up and coming. All right, where we are after we just finished our first two events. I think we got what 22 events here for you this morning at the WISD Aquatic Center. Up next, we will have the 200 yard freestyle. So back and forth four times. And I guess you could say the favorite in this event looks like Alexandra Dominguez in the girls 200 yard freestyle. She will be in lane four. And then we have Lisette Gambarena, also from West Lacoli. She'll be in lane five. In lane three, we have no time on her, but she could surprise people maybe. Sure. <laughs> Yasmin, Sometimes that's dangerous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yasmin Cardenas. But the best qualifying time or the best time coming into this race is Alexandra Dominguez in lane four. And she's a senior captain, four-year letterman. Keep an eye on her on the 150 freestyle later in the competition. All right. So right now it is the 200 freestyle back and forth four times. We are a 25-yard pool here. When you watch the pools and you see the Olympic Games, it's a 50-yard or 50-meter pool. So double the size and a little bit more. So here we go, freestyle, back and forth, and a nice little pace, Mike. Yeah, it looks pretty even to start off here. Should be a nice race moving forward. Let's see if uh, anybody here can uh, have some separation. We do have someone in lane. Six, who is doing the freestyle, I'm sorry, doing the butterfly. So she is competing against herself for the time. And we got a great race right here, lane three and lane four, right? Three and four, that's Cardenas and Dominguez battling back and forth, West Laco High versus West Laco East. They're neck and neck right now. Yeah. And I mean, it's just, yeah, it's going to be interesting to watch moving forward now. Right now leading about a half a length in lane number four, Alexandra Dominguez. And to, just to let our viewers know, Carlos, 200 yards is eight laps. It's going to be eight laps. I said four laps, and it is eight laps. So, so still a lot of more to go. <laughs> and uh, you think about it, those eight laps, it is, you know, it's like a mile. Sure. I, mean, I don't want to say it's a mile, but if you want to compare it to long distance, it is a long distance swim for them. Although there is, I believe, a 500 meter race. Right. Or 500 yard race. And we're, we're about halfway through the race, but like no lead is safe right now. I mean, it's a lot of strategy involved here. I mean, we got lane four ahead by a little bit, but you see lane three making a move here. Yeah, lane three is Yasmin Cardenas from West Laco High, but in the lead right now is Alexandra Dominguez from West Laco East. Qualifying time of 2.40.58. It looks like she has a little bit more separation now, but... Well, it could be the kick, Mikey. You know, the, the final couple of laps could come into play here. Yeah, but let's see if uh, Cardenas uh, can make a move here as uh, we wind down and get closer to the end. All right, so here we go. Dominguez. Final few yards. It looks like she's going to pick up first place. Alexandra Dominguez from West Laco East in the 200-yard freestyle. And there it is. She picks up first place. Dominguez for the Lady Wildcats with a time of 249. 2.53 in second place, Yasmin Cardenas from West Laco High. Lisette Camarena still racing. And she's still going trying after to wrap it. it up. Yep. Trying to wrap it up. Trying to finish strong here. And the other young lady to her right is also finishing strong here, doing a freestyle. I believe that is Brianna Villarreal from West La Cuis who just did a medley in uh, lane six. So right, yeah. and a medley means that they do all the strokes. Right, so that's, the and that's what she was doing. Right. 
200, but 200 yards. And she, there was no, other, there was nobody else that was competing, so she uh, was really just going against the clock there. All right, so congratulations, first place, once again, Alexandria Dominguez in lane number four from West Lacuis in the 200-yard freestyle. Just a warm-up for next week, Mike. 32-6A competition that'll take place right here at West Laco ISD. Seven schools from the upper and lower valley. I would, I believe, uh, the Brownsville schools are going to be here. I believe uh, those Fresnos, the Harlingens. Uh, and Westlaco. And uh, I asked Coach Trevino earlier in the week, and I go, Coach, um, I mean, you know how in, in basketball and in football and baseball, softball, how we're in 316A with the Edinburgh schools, like, why is it different in swimming? She goes, Well, because uh, not all the programs in the district have swimming. So they have to, the UIL has to separate the districts, and this is how it turned out. And the, name, and the schools that are going to come are Westlaco, Westco East, Harlingen, Harlingen South, Los Fresnos, who, according to Coach Trevino, are, are going to be the favorites, Brownsville Rivetta and Brownsville Hannah. They, they have good quality swimmers, Carlos. So that's going to be a very, very competitive meet next week. Absolutely. Harlingen Schools, Brownsville Schools, Los Fresnos, and the West Coast Schools. Like the old 32-5A from football. Exactly. All right, here we go. 200-yard freestyle. It's the boys now. Look out for Daryl Wells in this one in lane number four. He has a top qualifying time of 149.67. And right next to him is Brock Bloomquist. Something Coach Trevino told me to keep an eye on throughout the meet is these two young men go going against one another. Friendly competition. In lane one, we have Abram Torres from West La Cuis. Lane two, Jose Ochoa from West La Cuis. Peyton Price in lane number three for West La Cuis. We talked about Wells in four, Brock Bloomquist, the other senior, in lane five, Tyler Dillard from West Laco East in lane six, and Roman Handy from West Laco High School in lane number seven. And you can see uh, Daryl and Brock easily ahead of the competition here, just a few feet from each other. And it's just something that's gone on for years, Carlos. I mean, we're talking both these young men are, are seniors. They've been in swimming since what the freshmen, and it probably goes all around in club swimming and different events. So these two young men know each other very, very well. And Darrell Wells does own the record at West Laco High School in the freestyle. Broke that in 2017 with a time of 211.37. I don't think that's correct. It's I'm sorry, 149.67. And the impressive thing, Carlos, in, in watching them is. They make it look so easy, I mean, but it's not. It's it's a lot of skill, a lot of work, and I mean, they just it's just very, very impressive to see right. them go at it. And it's gonna look like it's gonna come down to the end. Final few yards here, Wells, Bloomquist. Bloomquist looks like he has the lead, <laughs> and it looks like we'll take a look at the time because it was very close between the two. Wells with 149.71, Bloomquist 149.30. So first place does go to Brock Bloomquist, so he, senior versus senior. Well, he has bragging rights, uh, at <laughs> least for this meet, over Darrell Wells. But oh, what a race. What a race between those two. And uh, if you notice, Carlos, toward the end, we saw some of the fans and the parents. Mr. Bloomquist, I saw, got up on his feet, cheering him on. A lot of energy. I mean, it was awesome. And if that, if that holds... Mike, at 149.30, that'll be a new West Local High School record wow. in the 200 freestyle. Wow. I mean, Brock already has six of them. I mean, he probably has a record already in this event, but that would be a new one, perhaps. Yeah, you're looks, right about that. It looks like he will overtake that record. This is uh, unofficial times on the board. We got Wells with uh, second place in third place. Peyton Price from West Local I'm sorry, let me go through this again. In third place, you have Jose Ochoa. In fourth place, Peyton Price. Finishing fifth, Abram Torres. Finishing, finishing sixth, Daryl Tyler Dillard. And Roman Handy in seventh. Yeah, it looks like uh, Daryl Wells is the one that had the old record, Carlos, back in 2017. The old mark was 149.67. And according to the board, this one is 149.30. And they just announced, you can hear the bell ringing there. 
Yeah, they're announcing. Kind of hard to understand with the uh, sound system that we have right now. But yes, they are now uh, saying that it is official that Brock Lundquist now holds the record in the 200 freestyle. Yeah, and if you heard a bell, that's what it was. It was a little, there was a coach out there ringing the bell there and the fans going, going crazy there. But uh, congratulations uh, to Brock. Uh, what an accomplishment. Breaking his buddy's record, Darrell Wells. And I believe we're, they are actually going to take a break in between. So we'll be transitioning to the handheld so we can do some interviews. So it um, looks like we have a little bit of a break, do we? Or are they moving on? They'll be moving on. I think they are moving on here. But I know we will be taking a break. It might be right now. But let's see if we can get uh, Brock Lundquist over here to, for a quick interview, unless he's moving on to another race. Yeah, right now it's kind of hard to tell exactly what's going on, but. Yeah, it looks like they're going to be swimming next. They're going to be going on to the next competition. And they're getting on the platform, so we'll go ahead and keep it right here. We'll get those interviews here for you in a little bit. I'd like to talk to Brock. Uh, I did tell him that we were <laughs> going to want to talk to him and some of the other uh, athletes that are out here once there's a little bit of break in the action. And uh, we'll let them rest up a little bit. The boys over there taking a little bit of a break. All right, so up next will be the uh, 50. Or the girls 200 I am. Is that what we're going to do, or are we going to go straight to the 50? According to this, it's the freestyle. Right. Oh, no, you're right, you're right. The well, we have, I am. We have four girls up there. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. And do we have a relay team behind them ready to go? I don't see swimmers. Yeah, this is the this is, this is the this is the 50 freestyle. Okay. So that's two laps. Yep. This is basically it right here. Up and back, 25. Up and back. 25. And I think we have we have two heats here. And lane number four is. Beatrice Samarano picking up first place, and there we go. Time of 36.16. Samarano in first. Samantha Alanis in second. In third place, Jessica Cantu. And we got Valdez, Bianca Valdez in lane number three in fourth place. So, congratulations to uh, Beatrice. Sombrano there. Yep, she had the top qualifying time coming in here. Picks up first place in this heat. We do have heat number two. And according to our sheet here, we have eight competitors, right? And so we'll go through the list in lane one. We'll have Teresa Velez from West Laco East. In lane two, Amelie Guzman. In lane three, Alexandra Dominguez. Kiana Reyes from West Laco High School. Emily Cortez in lane five from West Laco High School. Also from West of Police, Brianna Villarreal from East, Julia Na Nahera, and Isabel Ochoa in lane eight for the Lady Wildcats. And here we go, top qualifying time, lane four, Kiana Reyes from West Laco High School. She's the only one, Carlos, that came in with a qualifying time of under 30 seconds, 29.22. So here we go, Kiana in first place, well ahead of lane number three, Emily Cortez in lane five. And it looks like third place is a battle. Yeah, second and third place looks pretty good. First place for Reyes, second place for Cortez. Third place will go to Guzman. In fourth place, Villarreal. Fifth place, Najera. Sixth place, we got Dominguez. Seventh place, Velez. And eighth place, Isabel Ochoa. Congratulations 
to our swimmers in a quick race up and back, Mike. Yeah, quick 50 race. Meters, 50 yards, I should say. Ray has finished with a 29.46, just a little short of her qualifying time of 29.22, but still did a great job. Still finished under 30 seconds, which I'm pretty sure was the goal here. Was the only swimmer who finished under 30 seconds. On to the boys now. This will be the first heat. In lane three, we'll have Carlos Jimenez. In lane four, Stephen Ortega. In lane five, Angel Arasola. In lane six, Jeffrey Casares. All from West Laco East. All West Laco swimmers in this heat. And Stephen uh, with the best qualifying time with 28.56. Only one under 30 seconds. So Ortega and Arazola battling out along with Jimenez in lane three. And Ortega Jimenez in lane three, Ortega in lane four, back and forth. It looks like it's going to be Ortega in lane four. It's going to be close at the end. And Ortega, first place right behind him, though, Carlos Jimenez. Look at that, 129.50 and 129.96 for Jimenez. Picking up second place, third place, Arazola, fourth place, Casares. Now Jimenez looked like he had a shot there to win this race, but I think he had a little bit of trouble here when he came uh, to the wall and went back there. And uh, Ortega was able to catch up and take control of the race the last uh, few meters of the race. All right, here we go. 50-yard freestyle boys, the second heat. Look out for John Miller in lane four. All right, in lane one will be Ivan Rodriguez. Lane two, Ryan Perez. Lane three, Nathan Parker. All from, well, uh, Rodriguez from West Coast East. Perez and Parker from West Coast High. Talk about Miller, West Coast East. These are top qualifier. Then we got uh, Noah Valadez in lane five. Derek Cantu in lane six. Robert Leal in lane seven. And Joshua Blas in lane eight. Close race. Close race. So we got up to about three guys that can win this thing. And it's going to come down to the end. And it's Parker, Nathan Parker, taking first place for West Loco High School. John Miller from West Loco East in second. Third will be Valadez. Fourth place, you got Perez. In fifth place, you got Cantu. Sixth place, Leal. Seventh place, we got Ivan Rodriguez. In eighth place, Blas, Josh Blas. Yeah, congratulations all around. Th that was a very good race there. Uh, there was about three or four guys that had a shot to finish or to win this race. But I think it was uh, it was a great race all around. Okay, so now there will be a break in the action for about 10 minutes. Give some of these uh, athletes a time to recover, especially after a, a quick race like that. And then the next race will be the girls 100 butterfly. So we're going to try to do some interviews here during this little break. Find out how everybody feels about uh, everything that's going on here so far in this meet. Try to talk to Wells and Bloomquist who were. Uh, and Parker from West Laco High and some of the other individuals here and uh, get their reaction to the first half of the WISD Invitational. All right, well, we're over here with Daryl Wells. Brock, come on in. We're over here poolside and it's just a great competition. I know y'all had right now. Looks like uh, you took his record. <laughs> How do you guys feel about that? I know you guys are, are great teammates, battle back and forth. What was that like now? You own the record that he broke what, in 2017. Um, well, I, it's, I guess definitely a milestone because I, I look up to Daryl in the events he swims because he's very fast in them. And um, honestly, I couldn't have done it without him. You push each other back and forth, right? Yes. Yeah. Brock, did you know that you broke the record when the race was over? I think, yeah, I think I looked at the board. I don't, I don't quite remember because my adrenaline's going, so I'm kind of like mentally dull when that happens. We were talking about during the race that, I mean, you guys have done this for years and basically it goes on all year round, right? They're even in club swimming. What is it like to swim next to each other? And is it, it's a healthy competition, I assume. And I mean, how do you guys uh, improve each other? Well, um, it's great when you have a it's great when you have a good uh, teammate like next to you that's around the same uh, like caliber, I guess. It's like that, like like pushes you during practice and during the meets and stuff like that. And it's like what I told Brock, like. Like when he took my, when he broke the record, I was like, hey, records are made, made to be broken, you know. Absolutely. I know y'all also got first place in the uh, medley. 
and you guys will be competing next week for district. Do you feel like this was a good warm-up for you guys? Uh, yes, definitely. I feel like it was a good warm-up. Um, I guess getting, you know, to feel the water and feel the race, because district's going to be home here. Um, I guess getting into the pool, feeling how the way it feels, walls, turns, stuff like that, it's good to, you know, practice in the pool you're going to swim in. And being that district is going to be at home, as you mentioned, how excited are you guys about that opportunity and, and that you guys are seniors? So, I mean, it must be a nice feeling. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for district because uh, it's going to be here. I'm looking forward to uh, the, event, the events I'm going to be swimming at. And hopefully I'll uh, do well in them and uh, do well at regionals also. I know it's, it's been a while since West Laco High, the boys have won a district championship as a team. Do you all feel like you all can compete this year? I know it's going to be difficult. I feel I feel like we have somewhat of the depth in, uh, team wise, but I feel like we should we should come at least close. Um, definitely, our team I think it's a little smaller than last year, but I think the comp competitors as well. In, in talking to Coach Trevino a few days ago, she tells me that you guys have a really strong relay team. Do you guys feel pretty good about that? Well, like we, we've been swimming the 200 uh, medley and the 200 freestyle almost, almost like at every meet, so. We've gotten uh, better like at every meet, and we, we've been working on our, uh, on our relay starts during uh, practice, and we, have, we, we really think we have a good shot at, at regionals this year. All right, Brock, I know he's been to state twice. I know you came close last year. What are you gonna have to do to get to state? Um, I'm definitely gonna have to go faster in my 200 IM. Now 500 is looking pretty good right now. Relays as well. Uh, I feel like our relays, we're going to have to pick it up at, at regionals to qualify for state. What about you, Daryl? I know in your sophomore year, you went to state in one event. In your junior year, you went to state in another event. What about this year? Well, my sophomore year, I, I had some the, the 100 fly and the 200 free. And I was hoping to go in both events, but the event that I qualified for was the 200 free. And then last year, I saw the same events, but it was the opposite. I qualified for the 100 fly. And this year, uh, I'm, I'm thinking about swimming the 100 fly and the 100 back, because I really, I've been working on my backstroke this year and it's, uh, it's gotten uh, better. And uh, like my record over there was a, a 57-24 and I swam it at a pre-regionals and I went a 54. So I dropped like three seconds. So I think that's my event this year. And so this is your all's uh, final dual meet. You're song, moving, song. On, moving on to district. <laughs> You know, regional, state, so this, you know, both you guys are seniors. What's what's next in line? Y'all going to try to swim at the next level? Yes, the most definitely. I'm going to try and swim in college. I'm looking, I'm trying to keep my uh, options open and uh, wide, but right now I'm looking, I'm looking, you know, to swim in college. What about you, Daryl? Well, right now I'm still undecided where I'm going to attend school, but I'd like to swim in college and I'd also like to Chicago. major in uh, kinesiology and exercise science. All right, perfect. All right, guys, we'll let you go. I know we're going to have more events coming up, so good luck to you guys. All right, all right. All right good thank luck. you guys. Thank good you. Luck. Congratulations, on congratulations. Everybody. All right, we'll go ahead and continue on here with our coverage at the uh, WISD meet. Mike, a little bit of drama. <laughs> a little bit of drama yeah. started off uh, with you know Brock Bloomquist, kind of a little bit of an upset. Of course, they go back and forth, but uh, not only did he win, but he also broke the record. And I like what he said that. You know, records are meant to be broken. I, I think Daryl's the one that set that. And I mean, that's great. That's a healthy competition. And it only gets them better, it right. improves their skill, and it carries into district, into regionals, hopefully, and maybe even to state. I mean, these two young men for years have done this. And I mean, I think it only enhances the team and improves them. Two individuals that this is their sport. This is what Absolutely. they do. Absolutely. You know, they're not involved in any other sport, and they do this year round. You know, they'll swim in the fall, they'll swim, you know, here in the spring and also during the summer. Absolutely. Club swimming, it all goes back to club swimming. They do it year round. It's a dedication and it's a passion that they have. And they're, these two young men are very, very talented and athletic. And I mean, it's just exciting to see them both go at it like that. All right. So the next competition will be taking place here in a few moments. You're watching the WISD Invitational right here on KOS. Westlaco ISD All Day Pre-K, where every child has a unique way of learning. Through fun activities, we encourage your child's creativity and compassion. At Westlaco ISD, our TEA certified teachers provide the highest standard of education along with social and emotional learning. 
Come join our family in one of the many elementary schools recognized with numerous distinction designations for their academic programs. Westlaco ISD, all day pre-K, the right choice. All right, so coming up next at the WISD Invitational, we'll have the butterfly, 100-yard butterfly, girls and boys. And the boys will... Uh, We'll have, we'll have one heat of each, girls and boys. Kiana Reyes from West Loco High School. She is, has a top time coming into this event, 116.06. She'll be in lane four. You got Jessica Cantu in lane three. And Isabel Ochoa from West Loco East in lane five. So we're still a few minutes away, but this is the second half of competition. There's a break. We'll there'll be another break later. And we'll get an opportunity to talk to, uh, get a chance to talk to a couple of other athletes. And Keanu already with one first place finish will go for her second one in this race. All right, so here we go, Keanu. She'll be in lane four from Westlaco High School. For lane three, Jessica Cantu from Westlaco High School. Lane five, Isabel Ochoa. West of Coise. Keanu with a health lead. And in second is Isabella Ochoa there. But Jessica making a move there for second place. But Keanu's going to pick up. Well, this is only 50 yards, so she's got a ways to go. Of course, she has a dominant lead here. It looks like victorious. And there'll be a battle here for second and third. But here we go with Kiana. 50 yards done. See, e even though Kiana has control of the race, her goal is to see if she can beat her seeding time of 116.06. And uh, it looks like she has a, a decent chance here. Good athlete is Kiana, a member of the drill team, the Dreamettes, one of the officers, which keeps her in shape as well as the swimming. And Kiana will be watching the time. Definitely has first place. He's trying to get better before next week when we have 32-6A competition. 115-92 for Reyes. Congratulations. Uh, she, beat, she beat her seating time. She beat her own time. Yeah. And that's the goal there. And uh, now we're going to have a, a finish for second place here. Uh, it looks like Isabella has the upper hand over Jessica Dantu. But it's going to be close. And they're also on pace, Carlos, to beat out their seating time, which is also nice to see. And you can see Coach Trevino over there encouraging her girls. And the edge goes to Isabel Ochoa. Well, they're actually going to say the edge goes second place to Jessica Cantu, who picks up second, and Ochoa right there in third. But what a close battle between those two competitors. Right. Three tenths of a second. Three was the, tenths of a was second. The difference. Right, we got uh, Ochoa finishing with 150.97 and Cantu 150.94. And those are touch pads over there. And so, as accurate as you can get on the clock. Yeah, congratulations. Uh, that was a, a nice finish there to, for, for the race for both the young ladies there for second place. The top time, Mike, for the 100 butterfly for West Local High School is 108.36 by Greenwood in 1999. Wow, an old record that still stands today. For West Laco East. All right, let's take a look here at the next one. We've got two individuals on the platform. In fourth, lane four, I should say, Noah Valadez from West Laco East, from West Laco High School, and Henry Sander from West Laco High School. This is going to be a great race, Carlos. Yeah, Valadez with the early lead. Two West Laco High School competitors. Valadez in lane four, Sander in lane five. First 50 done. Two more laps, up and back. And Valadez has increased his lead there. He has a, a pretty good lead. Valadez. 
But here comes Sander, closing the gap a little bit there, Mike. Making a strong move there, using the whole, those arms there, going up and down there. And Valdez is trying to maintain control here. We don't have any qualifying time, so this will be the one of record for them. Sander making a push here towards the end. Valdez, Sander. And it'll be first place for Valadez by what? Look at that. 109.66 for Sander. And second place and first place time of 109.09. Just barely hanging on there. We've got to give credit there to uh, Henry Sander there for making a push there at the end. Almost came back and won it. And uh, Valdez, uh, you wonder if maybe he got tired toward the end. I don't know, but uh, still was able to win the race there. Uh, but a nice race all around there. Great job, both young men. Yeah, very exciting race there towards the end. As they compete and get ready for 32-6A District Championship, which will be taking place next week. Next Friday. We'll have that once again live on K-West. Up next is the girls' 100-yard freestyle. And we will have the girls' heat, then the boys' heat. Let's take a look at the lion assignments. Top time will be uh, Charlie Cruz in lane number four. In lane one will be Teresa Velez from West La Cuis. Lane two, Lisette Camarena from West La Cuis, from West La High. Amelie Guzman in lane three. In lane four is Cruz, top qualifying time with 103.90. In lane five, Yasmin Cardenas. In lane six, Beatriz Zambrano. From West Laco East, from West Laco East, also in lane seven, Samantha Alanis. It's worth mentioning, Carlos, uh, the young lady in lane number one, Teresa Val Valles, is a transfer, m came to West Laco ISD from Idea Academy. Why? Because uh, what we offer here, extracurricular activities. She came in, heard about swimming, came for swimming lessons over the summer, then heard about the swimming program, decided to join, and has really enjoyed it. And it's great to see uh, her having a good experience here at Westlaco ISD, only freshman. One of the things about the swim program here at Westlaco ISD, we start them off in the second grade, Mike. They get an opportunity to get introduced to the water, learn some basic lessons, and hopefully learn how to swim. At least it's an introduction to that. Absolutely. Over the summer, there's also swimming lessons available here at WISD. All right, in lane four, Charlie Cruz with a good lead by a, a good length and taking on her teammate from West Laco High School, Emily Guzman in lane three. But Charlie Cruz taking this one. In the freestyle, 100 yards. Second place looks like it's gonna come down to the end. We got lane three and lane five there. Guzman versus Cardenas, two West Laco High competitors. It's first place for Cruz, 109.37. Second place, Emily Guzman, 115.80. Third place, you got Yasmin Cardenas. In fourth place, Beatriz Zambrano. Fifth place, Teresa Velez for West Laco East. In sixth place, Samantha Alanis, also from West Laco East. Seventh place, Lisa. Make sure I get that right. Lisa Camarena. Reading it off the board there. And it's Lisette Camarena, officially. Congratulations to the girls. Congratulations to Charlie Cruz for picking up first place. Yeah, didn't beat her uh, seating time, but still had a strong race there. And uh, all the girls did a great job there. All right, so now we have the boys freestyle. Top time will be Steven Ortega in lane number four. This is the top time is 106.83. All right, we'll start off in lane two, Tyler Dillard. Lane three, Angel Arazola. Ortega in four, Peyton Price in lane five for West Lacote. In lane six will be Jeffrey Casades from West Lacote East. Jose Ochoa in lane seven, also from West Lacote East. Uh, Steven Ortega, your top qualifying time in lane four from West Lacote East. But right now, at least in this heat, looks like first place is uh, Jose Ochoa in lane seven from West Laco East. Also in lane number two, doing a good job is Tyler Dillard from West Laco High. So we got the two outsiders there in two and seven making an impact in this race. That's 
Jose Ochoa in lane number seven. Right here in lane number two, Tyler Dillard. In second place. Still got uh, Ochoa with the lead over there in lane seven. Most of our winners can come in from this middle lane, four, three, four and five, but it's lane seven here. Yeah, three, four, and five. Picking up first place, Yeah, Ochoa. Three, three, four, and fives are the favorites to win or that came in with the best seeding time, but not in this one. Dillard in second. Third place, you got Steven Ortega. Fourth place, Arazola. And finishing up will be Cáceres. First place, Ochoa. Second place, Dillard. Third place, Ortega. Fourth place, Arazola. Fifth place is Cáceres. And sixth place is Price. So congratulations once again to Jose Ochoa, 101.47. Now we have another heat, second heat here with some faster times. Lane four, top qualifying time here, Daryl Wells in lane four. For Westla Coise, Ivan Rodriguez in lane one. In lane two, Robert Leal from Westla Coise, also from East. Lane three, Miller. And we got Wells, Brock Lundquist in lane five. From Westla High School, also from High. Diego Guerrero, Guerra. In lane seven, Joshua Blas from West Coquis. And in lane eight, Carlos Jimenez for the Wildcats. And 49.03, Carlos, is the school record. So let's see if uh, either Daryl or Brock can break that in this race. In the freestyle, Wells versus Bloomquist. To West Coquis High, looks like it's Bloomquist with the early lead, but not by much. Good strong kick here for Wells. Final lap. Kyle getting into this one. Let's listen. Bloomquist with the fastest time here. 50-27 picks up first. Second place is Wells. Third place will go to Guerra. Fourth place, Blas. Fifth, Rodriguez. Six, Leal. Seventh, Jimenez. Once again, Bloomquist. Bloomquist. Bloomquist getting the upper hand here over Darrell Wells. Another, another great race between those two. Bloomquist came. He's, he's on fire. He's I on mean, fire. I guess you could say he's uh, he's come in and won two events. Who he battled back and forth with Wells. Top qualifying times coming to this race have belonged to Wells in those two events. But Bloomquist once again picks up another first place gold medal. It's fair to say he's ready for district next week. <laughs> Up next, we'll have the 500-yard freestyle, Mike. We're going to be here for a while with the 500. <laughs> we'll be here for a while with the 500. Um, that's a long race. That, you're talking about the two-mile. You're talking about a, a, a cross-country race here on this one, but the swimming version. Take a look at the schedule here. is next. Huh? We have five minutes. So how many laps is that? 20, according to what I have here. That's, that is a pretty long race. <laughs> and you'll see some of the uh, some of the other racers, I'm sorry, some of the other swimmers who will be out here holding signs that will allow the swimmers to see what lap they are actually on. I mean, in a race like this, Carlos, it's easy to lose track of how many laps you've done. So those were those signs come in handy. We'll stick it down in the water so the racer will know what lap they're on. So the boys 500. It looks like we don't have any girls 500, but the boys 500. Top qualifying time is uh, Diego Guerra. He'll be in lane four. Ethan Krieger in lane two for West Loco East. Oh, I'm sorry, for West Loco High School. Jesus Pedraza. In lane number three for West Laco High. In lane four will be Diego Guerra from West Laco High. Roman Handy in lane number five, also from High. And Ryan Perez from West Laco High School as well in lane number six. We only have one qualifying time, so anything can happen, Mike. Anything can happen, and I mean, the only qualifying time is a 
99 by Diego. Uh, but you never know, as you mentioned, that sometimes that, that's a motivation right there, a little motivational tool right there. Of, hey, got nothing to lose. Let's just go out there and, and race and uh, see what happens. Conditioning, I'm sure, plays a big role. Uh, in something like this, they'll start off slow, and you've got to just pace yourself for those 20 laps. Kind of, kind of like when you're running track and you're running a, a, a mile or, or what is it, uh, what do they call it, the 1800, I think. Those long races or even the cross 1600, country, the 1600, yeah. A mile, a mile yeah. two I mile. Mean, a lot of strategy is involved, and uh, I know between the swimmer and the coach, uh, they've kind of put together a plan of how to execute the race. And that's what we'll see. You'll have a swimmer that may fall behind early on, but then in the middle of the race, you'll see him catch up perhaps and make a run toward the lead. A lot of strategy is involved. And it's interesting, we just saw the 100, which is an all out blitz, man. I mean, you're, you're going full speed. From the get-go, little room for air. You gotta go, it's just like the 800 in track. You're taking sure. off running. People call that, it's not a 800 jog it's a sprint for two two laps absolutely grueling absolutely same thing with the 100 you know you're going back and forth in this pool pretty much as fast as you can and this one's going to slow down the pace will slow down a lot so coming up next the 500 boys 500 freestyle got five competitors all from westlaco high school as they get ready for next week Talk a little bit about uh, the Aquatic Center, uh, which is an awesome facility. Ten years now in service here for West Local High School. It was built in 2009, so we're on the 10-year anniversary. And um, the length of the pool, 25 yards. What you see on the Olympics is 50 yards, 50 meters. And so what we're seeing here is a 25-yard pool. There's also a smaller pool to the side, three feet, eight inches, I believe. Uh, and so that's where you learn to swim. It's a learn-to-swim pool. That's where they'll take the second graders in there here at West Laco ISD, yeah. practice a little bit. Also, there's a tremendous swim program over the summer. I know because my kids were a part of it. And, and um, that takes place also. There's like three or four sessions that take place during the summer. There's a small, there is a fee for that. And um, so this place, this facility is in, is in use year round. Whereas before, Mike, Back in the 90s when you were in school at West Laco High School, it was outdoors. Yeah, in the 80s as a kid, we'd go to the public pool. It was outside. It was 100 degrees. And uh, we didn't care, though. We still had a great time. But, man, coming in here where it's comfortable, where it's uh, room temperature, and you come in and just, you know, jump in the pool and uh, have a great time. And as you mentioned, the second graders go over there to, to the side and learn to swim there. And uh, once they develop that skill... Then they can move over here and maybe learn how to compete. And that's what it's all about. All right, so here we go at the WISD Aquatic Center. Ten years in this building here for WISD. And we're here. There's 22 races here today. 22 races that will be taking place. And this event is race number 16. Boys 500 yard freestyle. Lane of uh, lap one. A good pace. That's a per pretty good pace for these individuals right here in lane four. Yeah, lane four and lane six have the upper hand right now. Looks like lane six, Ryan Perez with the edge so far. That is uh, Ryan Perez. Didn't have a qualifying time. So I put him towards the end. Usually you put the top swimmers in the middle lanes. But Ryan Perez, obviously, obviously no time for him. But he leads this race. Still a lot to go in the 500. And we got a pretty good uh, race going on for second place in lane three between Pedraza and uh, Diego Guerra in lane four there. And they're slowly catching up to Ryan Perez there. Ryan Perez with the lead just finished lane, uh, lap five. 
a good pace for him. The, let me see here. The 500 free, the top record is 537.07, which I believe was broken in 2013. And that's at West Laco, that's at West Laco East, at West Laco High. Top qualifying time in the 500 free is 5.10.45. That's Darrell Wells who owns that one. Pettis. Ryan Pettis, lane number six with the lead in this one. And you wonder, Carlos, I mean, some of these athletes probably swam in other races. Are they tired? Are they, you know, swimming a 500 yard is quite a bit. So you wonder what's left in the tank. Right. And you see that Darrell Wells owns the record of the 500, does not compete in this race. They use him in the relays. Right. And he's got his individuals, so he can't swim them all because it takes so much out of it. Yeah. Towards the end, I mean, it, it all comes down to the mind, mind over matter. Ryan still with a very good pace. That is in lane number six with a very good pace. Hasn't slowed down much from his initial start. When you have a lead like that, Carlos, sometimes it's no longer you against the competition out here. It's you against yourself. I mean, he probably has an idea of how fast he's done in the past, and you want to try to improve on that. And I'm sure that's what's going on in his mind right now. Ryan Pettis still in first place. Teammates now cheering on the competitors here. All of them from West Oklahoma High. West Oklahoma East decided not to have anybody swim the 500. Not this time around. We're about to hit the four minute mark. And we just did right there the four minute mark. For the final minute here. Final two minutes, I should say. We'll go at about six minutes to finish this. Six, six and a half minutes or so. Six thirty is the uh, top qualifying time, but I believe Pettis is going to do better than that. We're at four twenty-seven. Four thirty now in this race. Four minutes and thirty seconds and count. First place right now, we still got Ryan Pettis. We got Diego Guerra in second place. He is in lane number four, by the way. And not far behind. Not far behind, though, is uh, Jesus Pedraza. Second, second place is going to be a very good finish. Roman Handy's in fifth place in lane number five. So here we go, final lap. Ryan Pettis, first place, second place, right behind him is Diego Guerra in lane number four. Pettis in first in lane number six. Pettis still in first, gonna be a close race here for second and third. Bettis looks like he's going to take it. Finishing up strong in lane number six, Bettis. In the 500, the winner, 554.71, is Ryan Bettis. He broke six minutes, Mike. Wow. Great job there by second place. And second place, Diego Guerra. Third place, Jesus Pedraza. Fourth place. Still waiting for fourth and fifth. Still in the pool. As you can see, actually, Ryan's, Ryan's the only one that's done. Yeah, Ryan's the only one that's done. Yeah. 
Yeah, what happens in the they long races, they yeah, them. they lap yeah. each other. And well, congratulations to Ryan Perez. Uh, what a great race. And, uh, when he finished, you saw his arms go up. He was very, very happy. But it looked like it will be Diego Guerra picking up second place, as we called earlier. And there we go. Now it's official. Second place for Diego Guerra. Third place for Jesus Pedraza. Now it's official. They need to do one more lap. Right. Yeah, congratulations, Diego Guerra. Strong second place finish. Uh, Jesus Pedraza right behind him. 647-73. And uh, fourth place. We still got one more lap here. That's Roman Handy in lane at number five. Trying to finish up. The young sophomore from West Lico High School. As you can see, Carlos, uh, they're not giving up. They're still going. They're going to finish this race. They're going to finish strong. You hear the teammates uh, still encouraging them. Keep going. Absolutely. So Handy trying to finish up this one strong in his lane. Kicking over here in lane number two with Ethan Krieger. And he's finishing strong. Absolutely. Finishes up strong. Had a little Great burst job. there. Picked up fourth place. And Handy in lane number five picks up fifth place. So there you go. It's official now. Ryan Pettis the winner. Okay. Still. Handy's got one more lap, I believe. But he is uh, going to finish in fifth place. But Ryan Pettis is the winner. Good job by the young man here. Never didn't have a qualifying time for Pettis, but now it's official. And, and uh, we'll see what he could do next week in the 500 when he goes to that district league. And let's see if uh, Handy could have that same burst that we saw. Uh, Krager? We saw Krager right now a few seconds ago. There you go, great job. And there we go. First place, Perez. Second place, Guerra. Third place, Pedraza. We've got Pryor in fourth, Andy in fifth, all from West Coast High School. Congratulations to those competitors. Congratulations, Ryan Perez, with the victory there. Finished under six minutes, so very strong race. Great job. We'll go, we're going to move on now to some relays, Mike. We've got a couple of relays here for you. We've got the girls 200 yard relay and the boys 200 yard relay. And I believe that they are already on the platforms and getting ready to go. This is race number 17. For those of you guys that are watching this live on K West, share it out there. Let your family and friends know this event is on the K West channel on YouTube. Many opp different opportunities, different platforms for West Coast High School. Like us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, and YouTube, YouTube channel. Of course, we have our K-West channel on Spectrum. It's 1301. So here we go. We're going to be moving on now. The girls, 200 freestyle relay. And we're going to have the top uh, in lane number four. No qualifying time for them, but West Coast High. First will be Emily Cortez, then Yasmin Cárdenas, Charlie Cruz, then Kiana Reyes will be the anchor in the 200-yard freestyle. In lane number three from West Lacuiz, we'll have Teresa Velez, Sabrina Garza, Isabel Ochoa, and Samantha Alanis. And in lane number five will be Brianna Villarreal, Beatriz Zamorano, Julia Najera, and Alexandra Dominguez. West Laco High School in lane number four. And we're starting off with Emily Cortez. 200 freestyle relay. So they'll go up and back pretty quick. Coach Ramirez from West Coast East is really high on her relay team on lane number five. Feels like they have a lot of potential to do great things. And they're neck and neck here after the first lap. Villarreal and Cortez going back and back, going back and forth for that first place spot. Yasmin Cardenas now in the water for West Laco High. And here we go. Looks like East just took the lead here against West Laco High in this relay. Neck and neck. 
And with the turn there at West Local High, so they do have maintained the lead with Yasmin Cardenas. The battling to Samarano. Cardenas trying to extend the lead. Charlie Cruz will be next for West Local High. And Julia Najera for West Local East. And there's Cruz in the water now. The third leg of this 200-yard freestyle relay. Cruz, a strong swimmer for the Lady Panthers. Extends the lead, Mike, there yeah. by about a length. Yeah, there you go. That was a nice little turn there. Was able to stretch the lead a little bit there. Trying to finish strong. Kicking very, very well. Here's Kiana now. Kiana Reyes for West School High, the anchor. Probably the strongest swimmer for the Lady Panthers. And she's got a good full body length lead. And in the water now is Alexandra Dominguez for West of Police. Trying to finish up strong here in second place. Yeah, immediately as soon as uh, Kiana uh, jumped on the water and had a great start to her to her anchoring there, and she's gonna finish this race strong. And there it is. The relay team from West Oklahoma High in first. From West Laco East, right there in second place. 209-49, first place winner from High. Second place, 214-69. So right behind them are the girls from West Laco East, the Lady Wildcats. And then the other relay team. This is Samantha Alanis finishing up there for the Lady Wildcats. First, second, third, West Laco High, West Laco East team, and then the other West Laco East team in third. That's the 200-yard freestyle. Congratulations to all the young ladies there. Great race. We'll move on to the next comp uh, next next event or next boys turn now. Yep. The next event here will be the boys 200 yard relay. Top qualifying time. I mean, this is a good team. This is a team Mike that could win a district championship in this event with Daryl Wells, Nathan Parker, Noah Valadez, and Brock Lucas. That's a strong team right there. Let's take a look at the lane assignments. We have West Laco High. Another relay team in lane number three, Derek Cantu, Diego Guerra, Henry Sander, and then Ryan Perez. Ryan Perez? He just ran the 500. <laughs> then you have the team there of Wells, Parker, Valdez, and Blumkus in lane four. They are the favorites from West Laquise. You got Joshua Blas, Robert Liao, Jose Ochoa, and John Miller. And then lane number six, another team from West Laquise, Steven Ortega, Carlos Jimenez, Angel Arazola, and Ivan Rodriguez. See Darrell Wells there with a terrific start for the race. Notice how they have him to start the race and they have Bloomquist anchoring. Top two swimmers, swimmers yeah. finishing strong, starting strong. This is Nathan Parker right here, the young sophomore from West Local High School, the second leg of this 200 freestyle. Met Robert Leal in the second leg for West Laco East. In third, in second place is Carlos Jimenez from West Laco East. Yeah, second and third look pretty, the two, pretty, pretty competitive two, right yeah, now. The two relay teams from West Laco East battling back and forth. This is Noel Alaves here in first place for the Panthers. Still with the lead. It'll be Block Bloomquist up next to finish up strong. The real battle is second and third, Mike. Right. Yeah, lane five there looks like taking over second place right now. This is going to be a great finish for second place. We do have Brock right here, touch of the wall. Final lap for Bluequist to finish up strong. And we'll keep an eye on what's going on here between high and east, lane three and three and five. Five, but picking up first place in lane four are the West Coast Panthers. So here we go. Here's the battle. Lane three and lane five. Who is it going to be? Ryan Perez and John Miller. Strong finish there. Second place goes to... Looks like West Coast East. Yep, the Wildcats take it. 147-65. Good job by John Miller there to finish up strong for the Wildcats. Great, great job using his arms. Going back and forth there. And, uh, yeah, was able to hang on there. But Terrific also... race. Yeah, you also got to give a hand to Ryan Perez finishing up strong. Just did the 500, but he was the anchor in this uh, freestyle 200 relay up and back for him. That's probably nothing compared to what he did earlier. They pick up third in fourth place. West Laco East team 
with 201-21, picking up fourth place. Yeah, so. not, not an easy thing to do, Carlos, to do a 500-yard race and then come back and do the anchor on a relay race. But Ryan did it. Okay, so there's going to be another break right here. We're going to transition to the other microphones, find a couple of swimmers from West Lacoise to talk to. Okay, we're back over here with at the WIC Invitational, the dual meet with some of the top swimmers from West Lacoise. Noah Valadez, your senior year, right? Sophomore. Sophomore? All right, <laughs> well, tell me a little bit about uh, what, how this uh, competition has been so far. Um, it's been really good. It's been good competitors against East Anaheim and other districts around, well, in our district. It's been real competitive. It's made me like push myself to my full potential in order to get my best times. Talk, talk to us about how this kind of uh, dual meet prepares you guys for district. Well, it helps us by understanding what we're probably going to go to, the pressures we have to deal with, also the times, and who we're going to face, which is always going to be high and it's us together, because we're number one. <laughs> Let's go all the way. <laughs> you guys, uh, you have district coming up. You're in the butterfly? Uh, no, I'm actually going to pick the You're going to... Is that right? Okay. Well, tell me, who's going to be your, your top competition? Is it going to? I know it's not. Uh, you know, you compete here today against West Coast High, but the district 32-6 say is a very competitive district. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to expect. You know, anything could happen. And but what I want to do is I want to push myself to my full and get my best times. That's all I'm worrying about right now. Get stronger and get better every day. John, tell me a little bit about that competition you were just in right now. Uh, what was that like? It was more like a team effort on that. We all tried our hardest. We all fought our best. I say we all did good. And you're not a senior either, right? I'm not a senior. I'm a junior. You're a junior. So you'll be back for another Yeah, it's going to be a great year. <laughs> I, what I think a lot of people don't understand or know is that swimming actually starts basically as the year, the school year kicks off, right? I mean, you guys have your first meet, what, in September, I think? And uh, so, I mean, you guys have been doing this since the start of the school year. So talk about like how, compare when school started to where you are today, how much you guys have improved and a lot of work that's been put in. Mm. Well, I've been swimming for a really long time. Uh, ever since I was like a little kid and then middle school was the only time I ever did competitively and I always won. And then high school and then everything's like, I'm trying to get to college. So the pressure's on there and I want to win. It's like for my family, for everyone that I love to. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and let you go. We appreciate it. Good luck. We've still got a, a lot left here at the WISD Invitational. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. Congratulations, guys. We're going to go ahead and uh, I want to talk to some of the girls. Let's see if we can find them. All right, what's your name and what events have you been in? Um, my name's Julia Nahira, and I swam the 200 IM relay, 200 free relay, and I'm going to swim, swim the 50, well, I already saw that, 50 free, and I'm going to swim the 100 breasts. So. You have a lot of energy out here, so you're very happy to be out here, aren't you? I mean, tell us uh, what it's like to be in this kind of event. It's exciting, and you just see everyone doing their thing, leaving it out there in the water, and all you just got to do is focus on your own event and just focus on what you're doing. All that you need to do is beat the time, not the people. Yeah, I know. That's some of the things that the coaches always tell me. is like, you know, it doesn't matter whether you went first place, second place, third place. It's about beating your personal time. Have you been able to beat your personal time today? Yes, I have. Well, today, yeah, for the 200 relay, we dropped four seconds for the 200 free relay. So. Awesome. Awesome. Congratulations. And uh, momentum-wise, you guys must feel really, really good going into next week's district meet. Yeah, we're ready for it. We're just going to leave it all out there, and we're... We're ready for whatever we got to do. Just leave it all out there and just do our own thing. Awesome, awesome. Well, uh, are we going to have some more swimmers? All right, yeah, I think we're going to have another swimmer over here. All Thank right. you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Mike. We'll swing it right over here. We got Charlie Cruz here, uh, one of the girls swimmers for uh, Westlake High School. Tell me a little bit about your event. How did it go today? Um, about the recent one, the relay? Yes, the relay. OK. It was actually pretty good. Um, um, I, I was having, we're all having fun here. You know, we're all like a family here when it comes to uh, swimming against each other and all that stuff. So we just think it as like family fun. And not only that, um, we also, um, well, it was actually kind of a thrill too, also. It was a lot of thrill, a lot of like, whoa, this is actually happening. The rush to, the rush is, 
it's, it's, it's amazing. But the, weird, the whole worst part of it is how cold the water is. It's cold in there? Oh, it's always cold, <laughs> always. When it's cold outside, it's cold in the pool as well. OK, well, it's, we'll keep it right here for a little bit. I, I'm sorry to interrupt you. We, do, we are going to have the girls 100-yard backstroke that will be coming in here. But we'd like to continue on with these interviews. Thank you very much, Ms. Charlie. Will Thank you. Get that, you have any more events today? I had the breaststroke. I'm actually swimming against Julia. Okay. Yeah. All so. right, we'll let you go right now. Let's bring in a young lady from West Lacoise. Hello. How are you doing? What is your name? Alexandria Dominguez. All right. And what events are you in, Alexandria? I swam the 200 medley relay, the 200 free, the 50 free, and the 200 free relay. And do you have any more that you need to compete in? My last one was the 200 free relay. You're getting a, a workout here today. Yes. It's going really fast, and we're all really tired, but it's fun. What is your classification? What grade are you in? I am a senior. You are a senior. Okay, so this is your one of your final meets that are taking place. Are you ready for district next week? Yes, we're all like working really hard and it's really fun. It's my last year, so. I know coach told me a few days ago that you're a senior captain on this team, right? Mm -hmm. Talk to me about that role. I mean, how do you, you must embrace it and uh, how, how have you done it? Well, the team's really good. Like the girls and the guys, everyone's really nice. They all cooperate. It's just like so much as wanting to do it, having the initiative to actually like take charge and okay, okay guys, it's time to do this, it's time to go. But the kids are really good, they're really cooperative. I love my team, so it's really fun. I'm glad I got the opportunity to be captain. Yeah, and what have you seen from your team so far? Do you feel pretty good going into next week's uh, district meet? Yes, I feel really good because, as I said, everyone has a lot of drive, they're really good, they love swimming, and everyone's been working really hard, so I'm really excited to see how district turns out. What, right. what is the expectation for you for next week for district? It's gonna be right here, which is good. Uh, what is the expectation? Where do you want to finish? Well, we want to make it to regionals, our whole team, so. you got to be in the top six. you think you have a chance? I think I do. I'm going to try really hard. All right, we'll go ahead and let you go. Thank you very much. All, All right. right, we'll let There's her get ready for her next event. Uh, let's bring in another competitor. Why don't we get right here in the middle? <laughs> and uh, Jose Ochoa, right? And uh, you're a senior. You're one of the seniors here. Uh, so tell me a little bit about uh, your events here today. What events are you in? I was in the 200 free and the 100 free, and then the medley relay and 200 relay. One of the things that was interesting is that you want, you're about to graduate from, yeah. from high school, from West Lacoa East, mm -hmm. and you want to be a marine biologist. Yeah. You really enjoy the water, don't yeah, you? I, I love the water. <laughs> I mean, I could spend hours and hours on, in the water. Like, it's, it's, it's a passion. I love it. So, yeah. What is it about marine biology that you know really intrigues you? Of course, it's different from swimming. You know, yeah, salt is. water to you know chlorine water. Yeah. Um, well, I also have like a passion for animals. I really like animals a lot too. So, which I add the water in aspect. Like, what else can you ask for? Yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Well, where do you hope to end up if you become a marine biologist? Uh, where would you like to work? I mean, anywhere. Honestly, I could. It's just to help save the ocean or something. I don't know. It's somewhere around here, maybe Corpus go to California, something like along those lines, yeah. Your relay team went to regionals last year, correct? And so what is it going to take for you guys to get back there? Um, a lot of practice, practice time, getting into the water, swimming, and just having the heart to swim. That's pretty much it, yeah. Okay. And do you like your team? I mean, have you seen some? We're very young, and I've been helping a lot of the young swimmers. We have a freshman named Josh, and he's, he's improved a lot. And so, uh, yeah, and it's, it's really young, so we have a foundation. We do have the 100-yard uh, backstroke that is uh, going right now. Yeah, in lane number five, lane number four, we got Nathan Parker. Lane number five, Jesus Pedraza. In lane number three, Abraham Torres and Derek Cantu, all from West Local High School in the 100-yard backstroke taking place right now. But right now, we're talking to Mr. Jose Ochoa. What do you think about this, uh, this competition? Do you know the guys from West Local High pretty well? Because y'all? Yeah, I mean, I'm really close friends with them. I, I mingle a lot with all of everybody from here. So I got to know a lot of them. And you, you, you know the swimmers and you know how their aspects are and stuff like that, yeah. I mean, as a matter of fact, you guys come over here together, right, and yeah. swim, is that how it works? Uh -huh. And talk about the bonding and you probably, you guys probably exchange notes and uh, give yeah. advice to each other? Yeah, like Brock and Daryl, they help out a lot. They, they help me improve also. They help a lot of us improve. I mean, those are guys that are in club swimming, so what kind of advice do they give you? They, they real technical work, and so it helped me teach my guys too. So it, it's just a lot of just helping each other out. A lot. <laughs> so. All That's right. great. Thank you very much, Jose. And we just finished the race here of Nathan Parker, who picked up first place in lane at number four with a time of 102.41. In second place, Jesus Pedraza. Uh, in lane number three was uh, Abraham Torres picking up third place. And fourth was Derek Cantu. And all these are from West Local High School. Next competition.
here at the WISD Invitational coming up next right after this. You just watched the 100 Butterfly, the boys competition taking place between West Lico, is all West Lico High School actually. We'll move on to the next event coming up next. So here we go now, moving on to the next competition, which is the 100 breaststroke girls, Julia Nareja and Charlie Cruz. Charlie in lane number four for West Oakville High School, lane number five, Julia Nareja. We just talked to Miss Charlie, and here she is in the water. Good battle between these two competitors right now. Yeah, and, uh, Charlie was very excited. She was like, I'm going, I'm going to go back out there to the platform and, and start a race here, and so, <laughs> yeah. Um, we would have got Carlos two more events. This one and one more. We'll just win one more and then we'll be done. Good race in the breaststroke between Cruz and Areja. And right now in lane number five with the lead is Nareja. Najera, I should say. Najera, Julia Najera. But Cruz there had a nice little turn there and uh, Stayed under the water a long time, went back up, and uh, she's all of a sudden just a few feet behind. So let's see uh, how the finish goes. About a full body length. And I head out with the lead. She has extended the lead, but the final kick here will be crucial. And Cruz picks up after the turn. Julia Najera maintains her lead. Najera all the way in this one from start to finish. And it's a first place finish for her with a time of 137.34. Cruz in this battle back and forth between the individuals in second place. Nope. The, the impressive thing about that, Carlos, is that Najera beat her seating time by over three seconds. So great job there by Julia Najera. She's getting congratulations from her teammates there. We do have one more event left, and it's the boys' 100-yard breaststroke. And it'll be two West Coast High School individuals going against one another, Henry Sander and Ethan Krieger. They'll be in lanes four and five. Off the platform. Krieger versus Sander in lane four and five. With the early lead, it is Henry Sander or the Panthers. You notice Sander Carlos uh, stayed under the water for a longer period of time, and I think he was able to give himself some extra, extra space there for a good lead to start the race there. Able to stay underwater for a longer period of time certainly did help him. He did that again on the turn. First 50 yards done for Mr. Sander. Henry maintains a good lead here. Henry Sander in lane number four in first place. He came in with a seating time of 113.51. Uh, let's see if uh, he can beat that. Final lap here for Sander. Lane number four. And there is your final time. Henry Sander picking up first place here in the 100-yard breaststroke, 115-17. And he is now ready for district competition taking place next week right here at the Aquatic Center in West Laco. Meanwhile, Krieger had a seating time of 144-86 may have a shot of beating that time.
going to be close. He did it. Krager picking up second place here, 142-13. Good meet, good sportsmanship there between the two young men from West Loco High School. Sander in first, Krager in second in the two-man race. And that should do it here at the WISD Invitational, Mr. Mike Gonzalez. It looks like everybody's ready to go. And I think the, the coaches have to feel pretty good about what took place today. And I mean, it's like the swimmer said a little earlier, it doesn't matter where you finish, if you're able to beat some of your personal times, you gotta feel pretty good about that. And, and we saw a lot of that. We saw a school record broken earlier. So great job all around. And I think both teams are ready for district next week. All right, I'm going to move on to the handheld microphones for a quick little interview here. Brock, I'm over here with Kevin Bloomquist, who is the father of Brock Bloomquist. And uh, Mr. Bloomquist, Kevin, tell me a little bit about your son's performance. There. He outdid himself today. He sure did. I, I, <laughs> I was impressed. I, I saw him coming up with Daryl, and Daryl was pushing him hard. Yeah. So when he got up there for the... Uh, you know, about the last two legs of that race, I thought he was slacking off, but he was just reserving energy. And, like, then, and then all of a sudden, he just, you know, pulled out and he got away with it, so. We like to talk to the parents a little bit here because they're kind of the coaches as well. Yeah. <laughs> we saw some of that. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But you, you know, you, you take them through the, you know, to their, uh, their, to their trainings during the summer. You have to take them to the AAU meets and, and you coach them as much as possible, right? Right, we do, we do mostly the uh, USA through the McAllen Swim Club is, is where we're at. And I'm the vice, well, I'm the president of the McAllen Swim Club. So um, he goes there to train during the, the summertime, but when it's uh, school time, then he's here every day. And he works out in the mornings and in the evenings. Uh, um, so. He's having to knock it out twice a day. And then also Blake, had also his older brother, went to uh, got a scholarship to Permian Basin at right. D2 school. He also uh, helped Brock and trained a lot with Brock. Yeah, and talk about that club swimming. How does that help them for their season? Oh, it really helps big time. They, uh, they, uh, they get a lot of training. There's different coaches there. They get different t uh, techniques and, and tactics. These guys are bringing in stuff from outside, from up north. And then every time we go up north, they're getting the experience and they're seeing what's being done and what needs to be done to improve themselves. And they know when they come back here, it's like this, these times aren't suffice. This, the, the times aren't, aren't right. They, they need to get better times because up there, it is just un, it's incredible. Very competitive. Yes. When, when, you say, when you say up there, where have you guys gone? I'm sorry. Anything, anything north of Corpus? It's, uh, you know, yeah. So we go to San Antonio. We go to Austin. We go to Houston. Uh, we've been to Dallas. So that, that's where we go in the summertime. And, and we'll be doing it again this year uh, with the McAllen Swim Club. And we'll be, you know, um, pushing Brock uh, to see what, what's going to happen because he's got a little, he got a few looks from some colleges. But, you know, his, his interest right now is, is his, his education, which is computer engineering. And, and he's really uh, focused on that. So uh, you can't swim forever, but you can, <laughs> you got to have your degree and, and, and work forever. So uh, he's, uh, but he's, he needs that interest. He loves that, he loves that focus and uh, it keeps him on, on track. So mom and I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and let dad slash coach Kevin Bloomquist. <laughs> right, we'll let you go. Guys. Thank you very All much. Right. Appreciate it. Congratulations right. on we'll your see son. You guys. See you next week. Doing an excellent job. <laughs> and I believe this team is ready. I believe both West Loco East, we saw some great performances by the Wildcats, the boys and the girls, and also West Loco High. Uh, boys and girls, ready for next week. Absolutely. I mean, when you talk about Dara Wells and Brock Bloomquist, those are your top two swimmers in the meet. And I think the swimmers from uh, West Coast East had an opportunity to work along with them and see uh, that the kind of caliber that they are. And, and, you know, every meet you go to always improves you. And that momentum carries into next week. I think the coaches feel really good. Moving forward, the girls should feel pretty good as well. I think they improved on their personal times. And uh, yeah, I'm look forward, looking forward to next week. A new record was broken here today for West Loco High. Next week, we'll do this once again. It'll be the 32-6A swim meet, the district championship, taking place right here at the uh, West Loco ISD Aquatic Center. We'll be live. Cable will be here. It'll be during the day. It'll be next Friday during the day. And uh, we'll be here, Carlos Roberto, along with uh, Mike Gonzalez. All right, for the whole crew here at K-West, we'll see you guys next time right here on K-West.